Dreaded Cur- Curve 9, rears its ugly head in Olympics luge. Rachel Axon, USA Today Sports. Pyeongchang, South Korea By the time the Pyeongchang Olympics opened, Curve 9 had a reputation that preceded it. Among the sliders who will tackle that curve, and the rest of the track at the Alpensha Sliding Center. That section of the track that has been most challenging. On Tuesday, American Luger Emily Sweeney spun out of control on that curve and tumbled down the track. She walked off and the on-site doctor said she had no broken bones. But she left in an ambulance. On Sunday, German Luger Felix Locke failed to win a third consecutive gold medal after skidding in his final run. The track was in good shape. Locke said, I did a mistake out of corner nine and that is one part of the track you are not allowed to do a mistake and that was the reason for sports where tracks can be used for decades. New ones are relatively rare. Only 17 are currently in use. With the Pyeongchang track opening most recently, though bobsled, skeleton and luge had test events before these games. Athletes in those sports learn how to best navigate tracks over the course of years. So the track here is still relatively new and still challenging. This track, it's long, it's fast, said Matt Mortensen, who competes in doubles. It has some significant elevation drops. And we do see that at certain other tracks as well. But at this particular track there is one curve that will probably make or break the race for all. The disciplines. And that is curve 9. Luge. Athletes accept the danger. Medal count. Where does Team USA stand? The curve goes left to right but ends short. Meaning if athletes steer too early they'll be pulled back into the curve and if they steer too late they'll hit the wall. Critically, curve 9 sets them up for a straightaway on curve 10 and 11 that sends them into a left to right. Curve in 12. I guess the new part of Pyeongchang is how do you deal with being airborne? Said you. S. Bobsled pilot Justin Olson. Every single track in the world is the same. You're dealing with pressure. And that pressure allows for you to kind of put the sled where you want it. But no other track are you airborne and that's normal. That's the X factor. If sleds hit a nub on the right wall at the start of curve 10. It sends them bouncing into the left wall just as the straightaway drops away. It's pretty abrupt because you fly and then all of the sudden you abruptly turn. Said you. S. Bobsled pilot Jamie Groibel Poser said. Added fellow you. S. Bobsled pilot Alana Myers Taylor. It kind of feels like they built the top of the track and they built the bottom of the track and. They put them together in the straightaway. Tae He Choi. The project manager of the sliding center for Durham Industrial Corporation. Which designed the track said it wanted to design new and challenging curves that hadn't been seen before. Curve 9 is very unique. He said in response to written questions from USA Today Sports. Athletes need to be able to control their sled at just the right time not too early. Not too late and not too strongly. When the sled is not properly controlled. The sled will be led towards the inner part of the next curve which won't help them in cutting any time off their run. The U.S. bobsled team was among the countries that took an international training trip here in October. In a sport where athletes are limited to two or three runs per day. Time on the track was critical. Olsen. Groibel Poser and Myers Taylor come into the games with around 30 runs down the track. While Curve 9 is challenging, it's far from the only unique curve. Curve 2 is laid back flat to the roof, lacking a concave shape and pulling sleds up to the top of the track at a time when they haven't 
built up much speed. It's turning out to be more challenging than it would look. Myers Taylor said, Curve 15 is similar to Curve 9. Sending sleds out of the curve to the right when the best line is to the left. Add to that an uphill coming near the finish. And it can be costly. A lot of unsuspecting corners. Which is where people underestimate this track. Humphreys said. It's not hard. It's not a track that the corners are big and dangerous. Corner 9 can be because in order to come around the corner. You have to do some fancy driving. Contributing? Paul Meyerberg.